Hi everybody, Melissa here from cloudmom.com to answer questions you might have about how to prepare your baby's bottle. Before I had my first baby, I remember being super intimidated by the idea of how to prepare their bottle. So today, I'm gonna walk you guys through step by step so that this becomes second nature for you. First, a note on water. Check with your doctor to see whether he prefers boiled water or whether tap water is safe for your baby in your area. Your doctor also might prefer that you not use filtered water such as that you might buy in the supermarket, so make sure to have a discussion with him. He also might ask you to boil your bottle, your nipple, the ring, all the things that are gonna be involved in feeding your baby just to make sure that that stuff is perfectly clean. What I did is set up a sort of boiling station. So at the end of the day, I would take a big pot like this, I would boil water, and I would put all my stuff in there and boil it, and that way I knew it was fresh and clean for the next day. So that's maybe something you might wanna do. Just try to make this part of your routine. Okay, so how do I go about preparing my bottle? First, you wanna wash your hands very, very thoroughly. Then, Make sure that the container of formula that you're using is clean and that there's no loose dust around the top of this because that can get into the formula. And also check the expiration date on the formula because you wanna make sure that it's nice and fresh. Today, I'm gonna to be using boiled water. You should have the water boil for one minute, then let it cool before you mix it with your formula. Here's some water that I boiled earlier, so this is what I'm gonna use. Never microwave the water. That can cause hot spots in the bottle that are very dangerous for your baby. So that's a big no-no. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bottle, and I was a big fan of these bottles, so I'm using one today. And I'm gonna take my boiled water and I'm gonna look carefully to see what quantity of water I'm using. I am going to use today four ounces of water. So I'm gonna pour my water into my bottle making sure that I get to the right amount. That looks good. It's much easier to pour the water first. And then for every two ounces of fluid water, I'm going to use one unpacked scoopful of formula. So don't pack this like brown sugar. Just put your scoop from your formula in there. Make sure that it's packed well. Run your finger over it, your hands should be clean, and that's what you're gonna use for every two ounces. Okay, so because I have four ounces, I am using two scoops. Now, here's another big no-no. Never ever play around with the quantity of powdered formula that you're using vis-a-vis -vis the water. It's incredibly important that you give your baby exactly the amount of nutrition that they need per ounce. So you never ever wanna skimp because that will mean that your baby's not getting the amount of nutrition they need. So. Okay, so now with my powdered formula into my water, I'm gonna carefully close my bottle, make sure you close it tight, and I'm gonna shake. And it's actually recommended you can, you know, twist your wrist a bit like this and shake and make sure the formula is very, very well incorporated. If you're using already prepared formula, you don't need to shake quite as much, but you wanna shake a little bit just to make sure that it's well distributed, okay? When that is done, I'm gonna do what's called the wrist test. So I take my bottle of formula, I sprinkle just a little bit onto my wrist to make sure that it's a good temperature for the baby and not too hot. Babies don't need warm or hot formula, but you wanna do make extra special sure that it's the right temperature. These are the basics when it comes to preparing a bottle of formula for your baby. Enjoy your baby, no matter how you've chosen to feed your baby, it is such a special and intimate time. Focus on that, not on what anyone else says, and just enjoy it because it goes fast. I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.